we're here with R.A. Mihailov. We're at the uh, Sixth Street Massacre. We also own the Chainsaw Massacre Haunted Houses. We're in Amarillo, Texas. And we have R.A. Mihailov from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, part three. He played Leatherface. And he's here to meet some fans. And we wanted to ask him a few questions. Um, you know, one of the things that I always think of is, is, you know, did you always, did you envision yourself being in horror movies or was it just something that you stumbled across or, you know, how did that all come about? Well, Mike, I got to tell you, really, truthfully, playing a monster in a movie was my childhood fantasy. And, uh, you know, once I, I grew up and learned that acting could be a profession, I worked my way up through the, you know, through the acting thing, and how gratifying is that that my first starring role was as a monster, a movie monster. That's awesome. Now I watched, uh, I've seen the movie, but I watched some today just to kind of get a refresher. And you know, I know you like to, you don't like to fly, and that's kind of how we met. You were driving through town and looked up our haunt and just decided to give me a shout. And, you know, what do you think about the Texas Panhandle, you know, versus where you filmed? Because I think, you know, I saw a lot of hills in the movie, so I'm guessing it was down in the, in the mountains of Texas and is where it was filmed, maybe by Austin or... No. Um, it was actually filmed in Southern California. Mine was the first uh, Texas Chainsaw movie to be filmed outside of Texas. And, uh, yeah, it's a big difference from the Panhandle, huh? with the hills and stuff. Right, right. Now, that was 1990, so what have you been doing since, I mean, are you, have you still, you're still in the horror movie business, or, you know, what's going on currently? Oh, yeah, Mike, absolutely. Uh, um, I co-starred with Kane Hodder in Hatchet 2. Uh, Kane and I, again, co-starred in a soon-to-be-released this February in a horror comedy Written and directed by John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard, aka Bo Duke. Um, I did a couple other. Uh, I've got a couple other horror films in the can, and uh, you know, looking for more. So, do you spend most of your October? Do you do you mainly hit the haunted house circuit and and uh, you know hang out at haunted houses and visit with the fans? Brother, I go all over the country for Halloween. I'm here, there, everywhere. Have booking, we'll travel. You know, you hear some of these, these actors that take their role seriously. Did it change you at all? Like, did you feel like, you know, you, did it make you a little more angry? Or did you, did you feel like it, 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 there was anything to your personality that changed after you did all this work on the movie? No, I, I believe that's such a crock of shit when they talk about that kind of stuff. It's a fucking job. You're acting, okay? You know, I mean, come on. If you get that carried away, you're going to end up in prison. You know, Huntsville, you know, on death row in Huntsville, for Christ's sake. No, you know, you punch in, you punch out. It's a job. You just did a tour of the, of the haunt and just kind of curious of what you thought of it. You know, you've been to a lot of different haunts. I'm just curious of what you thought of some of the scenes here. Well, I got to tell you, um, yes, I have been to haunts all over the country for many, many years, and I've seen some very innovative things here. <laughs> the graveyard? Yeah. yeah. That is a must-see. Uh, the, the graveyard, you actually leave the building, go outside, now listen to this, into an overgrown uh, graveyard. And uh, Mike told me that when they started, that was a parking lot. It's unbelievable what has happened in how many years? About three, three years. In three years, uh, I have to give uh, Sixth Street Massacre the trophy for the most uh, uh, innovative, vigorous uh, uh, set dressing I've ever seen. That graveyard, you know, it was it was the parking lot, and it's and it really what we did was. We built it and then we just let it go. We let Mother Nature take over. It's an abandoned graveyard, so we, we just let, let the trees grow, let the vines grow, and it took care of itself. Well, it, it, I'm here, and this is the truth, this is no bullshit. Uh, if you hadn't have told me that was uh, a parking lot three years ago, I would have thought it was, uh, you know, natural growth. There is a wheelchair gag that is super cool. 
Uh, uh, I don't want to say again. I don't want to. I don't want to give it away. But it's, watch for it. It's really cool. This is R. A. Mihailov, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre Three. I've been through Sixth Street Massacre and Chainsaw Massacre, and I'm here to tell you, they both get a big thumbs up. Hey!